everybody! My name's Patrick Martin, and I'm gonna give you a brief rundown of recent Firebase updates designed to make your live ops lives easier. Now, I probably don't need to tell you all this, but mobile gaming has come a long way since the early days. Firebase has had live ops tools for years. Crashlytics is a free integration with any Firebase product and can track crashes from the field amongst your actual live player base. It can aggregate crash reports, provide associated device metrics, and give you some baseline tools for figuring out what was happening at the time of the crash. With the latest SDK for Unity, detailed hardware metrics are sent up with every crash report. This includes the CPU and GPU your players have, driver versions, VRAM, and anything else that could help narrow in on the issue. Check out the complexity of NDK crash reporting for a full breakdown of how we achieve this. What you really want to do is monitor your player behavior and react as rapidly as possible to your player's needs. So we have Firebase personalization. This builds off of remote config and A-B testing, but leverages Google's AI expertise. Where A-B testing alone might find the best experience for a group, personalization can build a customized experience for every player in your game. In a way, this becomes the most live version of live ops you could imagine. An AI monitoring your game 24 seven and ensuring that your game is always being the best version of itself for your players even if your players have different personal preferences. So at any point, you can check in on your personalization, swap out configurations that don't work, add new configurations to test, or just make a config the default if it's taken a clear lead. If you'd like to know more, check out personalizing your app in real time, powered by Firebase and ML, also in the Google for Game Developer Summit.